breaks my heart when my little girl comes home and she says things like I'm no good at anything, I'm rubbish, I can't do anything and it's, it's really upsetting. The thing with school is, school is about children learning how to read and write and that is the focus at school. So if a child has dyslexia and they struggle with reading and writing then it's quite easy for them to start to think that they can't do that so they can't do anything. And I've said to my little girl that's not true there's so many things that you're good at and she'll say no there isn't, no there isn't and she'll get really really upset. So I knew that I had to do something about it and show her that there are other things that she's good at outside of school and she has a lot to offer. So that's when I came up with my idea of the self-esteem sun. And you will find the card in the Dyslexic Mum Kit telling you how to use this card. On the back of the card there is a picture of a self-esteem sun that you can make with the child. In the centre is the child, so they can either put a picture in the middle or you can get them to draw a picture of themselves and that's in the middle of the sun. And then there's all these lines coming out of the sun and you can sit with the child and say what are you good at? What stuff are you good at? And if they say, I'm not good at anything, well, then you can start to tell them, well, have you thought about this? You know, you're really kind to your pet dog. That shows that you're kind and really good with animals. And we do cooking together every week and you're really good at baking cakes. And then they start to realise that actually... They are good at things and it helps to build their confidence. So I made one of these sons with my little girl. And in the middle, we've got me and we've got a smiley face, which is her. And we wrote all around the edges, all the things that she was good at. And also all the things that she had in her life. So she had a lot going for her. She's got a family. She's a really, really good sister and then she has loads and loads of friends she's really good at making friends everybody really likes her but she's also brave sometimes she wakes up in the middle of the night and it's dark but she stays in her own bed and she, until she falls back to sleep so she's not tired at school the next day and what we've done with this son is we've put it on the fridge as a reminder to her that it's not all about school, it's not all about reading and writing. She has a lot of stuff that she is good at and as she gets older then it's more important to be good at all different things and that she can do really well in life. 